So I have installed these HomeKit little buttons in multiple different places in my house, on my kitchen, living room, and even on my toilet. So if you want to know a little bit more about the flick buttons and why I like them so much, but that is one that you should avoid at least for now. So if you want to know that and much more, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the little buttons that Flick have been releasing. Recently they have released this one that is the twist that they also have sent it to me and we'll be briefly talking about it. And they sent me these little ones that I have installed on my living room, kitchen and even on my toilet. And I've been using this for a while in multiple different configurations, connecting the twist, for example, by Matter, connecting this one directly through the hub that we'll be talking a little bit more about it in a second. And um, now I can give you my full impressions about this one. So the first thing that I just want to cover it is obviously humidity, because as I said before, this little guy, not this specific one, but another one, is on my toilet and obviously is where I take my showers so that is a lot of humidity but for the last couple of months it's been there and I didn't have any issue. So when we talk about design I have to say to you guys that I simply love this one. This matte finish looks great. I like even the logo. I'm not a fan of logos but it works really really well in here it is not so lightweight as you can expect even if it's so small and on the back you have this little tape that you can basically make it glue to any surface that you want on my case the one that i have on the toilet i put it on the mirror so in that way when i enter it's easy for me to change between settings and i'll explain to you guys what i've done in there and one of the things that i'm not so happy about this is the replacement of batteries and obviously this part of glue on the back that we just talk about it. So in other words, what I'm trying to say to you guys is this tape will not be permanent because when you have to replace the battery, you have to remove it to reach the battery. So it's not the best design. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is I would like that this button was inside a structure that gets glued to the surface where you want and you can just press in and rotate and remove it, swap the battery and after just rotate it, put back where it should be. Inside the box, you are going to get three buttons like this one and you are going to get your hub that you need to purchase separately. So when we look here to the connections, you have an IR connectivity, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack, the Ethernet port, an old USB charging port, so definitely not a big fan of it. You have the dot here that is basically to reset your uh, hub if you need it and also you have your LED here on the top. So when we look to the design, it's super, super minimalist. You can see obviously here on the side, the logo that I simply love it, the model of it. Here on the back, you have more information about your hub, the connections where I showed to you guys and nothing on the other side. So in other words, to connect this is super, super simple. Like I said, if you want the controls and you want to connect to your Apple HomeKit, you'll definitely need to buy the hub. Otherwise, it's not really possible to do. But when you open the app, you will see this button super, super easy and you just have to tick the box that it says to transfer these buttons to Apple HomeKit. And now let's talk about all the modes that you have in here. And so you have a one press that in this case, this is connected to my living room and this light is on my living room. So when I do one press is to go to cinema scenes. So I basically, I control scenes. If I press twice, I'll be basically turning off all the lights of my living room. And if I do a long press is what I called friends. And basically is when my living room have much more light because I have much more people in my house when I'm doing, for example, a dinner. All my toilet is a bit different. So what I've done is one press is the normal settings, two press is to turn off. And if I do a long press is the shower mode. So when I'm going to take a shower, I have that different design of light if you want. On the kitchen, I'll also have the three configurations but slightly different. So one for the main light, two to turn off. And if you do a long press, you have a different type Type of design of lights that is basically to help with my mood and also those lights will not be so bright like they are normally. And when we talk about configurations, that's it. These little buttons just allow you to put three types of configurations. So for that, Flick have this design and this works with Matter, but at this point, it doesn't really allow you to control scenes on Apple HomeKit. And that for me, it's a big, big bummer. The next thing that I would like is the possibility, for example, that this part will be able to connect to my TV and I could change, for example, the volume of it. 
but I also can do that. Or if I do the long press and I rotate, changing between the types of scenes that I have on my living room, because on my living room I have more scenes than I have in the whole house. So in other words, what I'm trying to say to you guys is that the Flick 2 works better with Apple HomeKit because this allows you to control scenes but here you are not able to do that. So as you can see, also Flick will come with all these little stickers that you'll be able to put it in there, but I'm not really a fan of sticker, but even that I have to say that the quality is really, really good. And these stickers will be obviously for your Flick Twister that I have to say to you guys at the minute is not the best option. Talking about configurations and usability of this, I have to say to you guys that no matter if it's on the toilet, no matter if it's on the kitchen, it always work. I never had a problem like I just showed to you guys, I just press and the light turns off. So definitely a plus of this device, super, super responsive. Even if you don't have thread technology, something that can be a bummer because if Fleek will have thread, I'm definitely sure that will be even faster. So definitely a massive plus if in the future they do a Flick 3 with thread. And the stickers give you a good idea of other things that you can do, like for example, controlling your music, posing, passing to the next one. And obviously if you are going to use for those type of situations and you have multiple uh, devices next to each other, obviously the stickers will be an advantage for you. So overall, I have to really give a massive plus to the Flick 2 that I simply, simply love it. I'm not a fan of the Flick Twister at the moment because obviously it's not fully compatible with Apple HomeKit. If that changes, I'll do a full review of this one and that's definitely something that I would like to see in the near future. But if you've been using these two or one of them, let me know in the comments below how you've been using and in which situations and if you are using the twist for what in Apple HomeKit. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you next week to continue to talk about smart home and other devices that that you can use with Apple HomeKit.